The following opinions are solely those of Boatest.com and its test captain. Hi, Captain Steve for Boatest.com. The Tracker Targa V18WT was designed as an all-around boat, crossing over between full-on fishing and family fun. She has versatile seating and padded backrests at the V-bow. High freeboard translates to a deep cockpit and there's storage seemingly everywhere. The V18WT is billed as having everything needed for fishing short of rods and bait when she rolls off the showroom floor. Let's take a look at exactly what that entails. For starters, it begins with this standard Minn Kota 70 pound thrust trolling motor. It gave me complete controllability to get in and out of the rocks close to shore so I could cast into the shading areas that we all like so much. The aft casting deck has one, two, three, four compartments and courtesy lights to both sides. Live wells to both sides including space for a bait bucket just behind. Look at this, easy access to the batteries. And she remains stable as I move about the casting deck. Top loading rod storage lockers are in the gunnels and can accommodate rods up to 8 feet, all repeated to the other side. And of course there's the usual rod storage between the consoles. At the forward casting deck, storage to starboard, live well to port with a bait bucket. Fully forward, storage for the foot control. Cargo net storage is to the sides. At the forward panel, Another courtesy light, tilt control for the outboard, live well control, tackle storage. I'm also impressed with how Tracker packages everything. You don't have to go shopping for components. Nearly everything is included in this boat as standard equipment. In the cockpit, five pedestal bases plus index storage. There's padding so you can sit and relax at the bow. I'm thinking this cleat, I'd like to see it a little bit further forward so it's not so close creating a trip hazard to the non-skin pad. At the port console, compartment for holding stuff that includes a 12 volt supply, a self-draining cooler, a glove box with a stereo inside, under gunnel storage to both sides. The Targa V18 WT is also built with safety in mind. Aside from her deep cockpit depth, these features add to her family friendly characteristics. Boarding is made easy thanks to the wide 11 inch cap rails with non-skid pads and reboarding from the water is just as easy with grab handles right on the platform. At the helm, wrap around windshield with no distortion and it's nice and high to deflect wind well over my head. Kind of a faux carbon fiber panel, white base gauges, chrome bezels, Lowrance Mark 5X Pro, toggle switches all lighted when they're activated, ignition over to the left hand side, three spoke wheel is mounted to a tilt base. Under the helm console, a speaker and dedicated spot for a fire extinguisher. The Tracker Target V18WT has a length overall of 19 feet 1 inch and a beam of 102 inches. With an empty weight of 1,730 pounds, full fuel, two people and test power, we had a test weight of 2,845 pounds. With a 150 horsepower Mercury 4-stroke turning a 14 and a quarter by 18 inertia prop, we reached a top speed of 45.5 miles per hour at 5,500 RPM. At that speed, we were burning 13.9 gallons per hour, giving us a range of 118 miles. Best Cruise came in at 3,000 RPM and 21 miles per hour. That reduced the fuel burn to only 3.8 gallons per hour, which translates to a range of 199 miles and an endurance of 9 hours and 30 minutes while still maintaining a 10% reserve. We had a time to plane of only 2.8 seconds, accelerated to 20 miles per hour in 4.9 seconds, and continued accelerating through 30 miles per hour in 7.2 seconds. Upon accelerating, the bow comes up 11 degrees and comes right back down as she has such a quick time to plane. She turns quite well thanks to her reverse chines and leans only 10 degrees into the turns. She does tend to bleed off a bit of speed in the turn, so don't hesitate to add power once the turn is initiated. However, if desired, go ahead and let the speed bleed off and at a certain point, she'll spin out in the turn. Then you can accelerate off in the next direction. When taking power off, she settles back into the water stern first. There's certainly a lot to like with the Tracker Targa V18 WT. She does live up to her billing as being completely ready to fish right off the showroom floor and as a family day boat, well, all that's missing is the cooler. That's my full look at the Tracker Targa V18 WT. For BoatTest.com, I'm Captain Steve. We'll see you on the water.